Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your May 2021 career reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome in, and if you're returning, welcome back. And I truly do appreciate all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, and your wonderful energy. So just a reminder, this is a general and intuitive reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one. So not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Just take the parts of the reading that apply to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. Also, just so you're aware, my intention for this reading is the energies will last right from the day that I post this reading all the way up till the end of May. But if you see this reading later in May, then the energies will last for 30 days after you see the reading. All right. So messages for Pisces, please. What do we need to know most for the month ahead for career and our money? All right, well, that one. Okay, we have the thinking man coming out. Other messages for Pisces, please, for the month ahead. Career and money. What do we need to know, please? All right, we have the seventh chakra, and we also have healer of the ages. Okay, very spiritual energy coming out there for some of you. So I feel as though for some of you there, we may... Um, you may be, uh, having be, you may be having some sort of spiritual awakening. Okay. You may be considering, um, embarking on a career that actually has some, uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual career path perhaps. Okay. Um, with that healer of the angel ages. And the uh, seventh chakra, that's your crown chakra, it feels as though some of you may actually um, do something with your hands or with energy, okay, like uh, Reiki or something along those lines, okay. Um, you may even be venturing into some uh, psychic mediumship or something along those lines. You could either even be heading on uh, some physical healing as well. It feels so there's some sort of, um, uh, there's some sort of guidance coming through to put you on your soul's path. So we've got the thinking man here, okay? Um, now this is somebody that is either in your life right now, okay, or something that is someone that is coming into your life and they're here to teach you something. So this is most specifically a male, okay, or someone with a masculine energy, all right? But it's someone who is uh, perhaps quite enlightened, okay, either, um, you know, in the material world or spiritually or both. Okay, but they're here to teach you for teach you something. All right. Now, um, this is in the physical world. This is not a spirit. Okay, just so you know. All right, just so you're aware with that. But it feels as though some of you may, um, if you're having a spiritual awakening, you may be seeking a mentor, some guidance. Um, you may even be taking some classes, okay, to expand um, your horizons, okay, and to expand your knowledge of that area. This can also be somebody that is in your life that is here to teach you and impart some wisdom uh, upon you. Now, some of you with this energy you may be taking some classes you may be going back to school so this person can represent like your professor okay your your um you know whoever is like the leader of your class okay this could also represent taking some additional training within your workplace as well okay but this person is here to impart some wisdom some knowledge some guidance okay upon you all right and it's a very very positive energy so um we also have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So there is some very spiritual energies that are around you guys right now. And your intuition right now is on fire. Okay, so pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities, repeating numbers, weird dreams, messages, all that kind of all that kind of thing. Keep a dream journal. All right. Um, but your intuition is on point right now. You are full of inspiration and creativity as well. It's a really very beautiful, powerful energy. So some of you, again, are having a spiritual awakening. All right. All about the crown chakra opening up. Okay. And, you know, for others, it's just your intuition is helping you lead the way. All right. It's like intuitively, you know what changes you need to make. You know what you need to do to get a leg up on your career, on your money, your finances. And this is where you're really trusting your gut right now. Okay. That instinct that you've got within you. Okay. To help um, make decisions and make positive change in your life. The healer of the ages. I love this. Okay. So again, for some of you, you're heading on a spiritual journey. You may be following a new career path that has to do with being a healer, a spiritual healer, a guide. 
for others of you here with this healer of the ages, there is profound healing coming your way. If you've had a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of upsets, you've lost your job, you haven't been able to find a new one, you know you're getting passed over for promotions, you've had investments that don't work out and there's a lot of, um, a lot of um, emotions that are tied up. Okay, within all of that, okay, the healer of the ages is here to help you heal, help you release, help you let go, okay, and help you um, get rid of anything, any negative energies, all right, and to get you ready for something new and more wonderful that's on the horizon for you here, okay? So if you're feeling down in the dumps, if you're feeling stuck, um, if you're feeling like you don't have any inspiration, um, you know, if you're feeling like you're just emotionally drained, call in the healer of the ages here okay for some additional um additional healing additional um support there all right so let's see where else we go for you all right messages for pisces please current situation heart of the matter moving on moving forward the six of air um is that energy of mentally moving on okay moving from troubling times into something that is better something that is more positive all right a shift in your way of thinking for some of you okay um, it, it's some sort of change okay that is necessary all right for you to um, expand your opportunities expand your horizons now some of you okay because the air energy um, does um, does have to do with your thoughts and your communication all right when we have this healing man here okay um, it feels that there's somebody coming in for some of you that help change your way of thinking give you a clear direction on what path you need to take what changes that you need to make in your um, you know in your life or even in a strategy perhaps okay something that allows you to move forward all right that allows you to um, you know detach from anything that's not working. So for some of you, you're in a current work situation that uh, you may have held on for a while because you may not have felt that you had any opportunities that are around you. You may have been uh, stuck in an energy of fear, right? Scared to let go because what if I don't find another job? All right. Um, and for some of you, you just, you may be just tied up okay in that um, in that workplace and you know that it might not be healthy for you okay but this six of air this is where your mind starts to shift okay a shift in your way of thinking all right and the situation that you're currently in all right it's not that you necessarily did anything wrong or anything like that it's almost um, in this deck it's a rite of passage okay you have to go through something troubling or overcome some sort of obstacle to um, learn something all right, that will benefit you in the future. It never feels like it at the time. It's like, oh God, another challenge, another obstacle, like haven't I had enough? All right, but you know, for every challenge comes a solution and every challenge, every obstacle that we overcome in our life is actually a learning opportunity. It doesn't always feel like it at the time, okay? And it's usually that hindsight energy when we really come to realize it, okay? And we can look back um, with a different perspective. All right, so some of you are looking to make some transition, make some change, okay, move forward from where you currently are. Um, you know, if, you're, if you've been in this energy where you've been trying to find a job and nothing's been working for you, again, that thinking man energy, there may be something that you need to change. Perhaps this person has a look at your resume, all right, and maybe they, um, you know, they have some ideas about how you can, you know, revise it a little bit to stand out in the crowd. All right, so let's have a look at your, what is crossing you, okay, your current challenge. Thank you. Uh, okay, yeah, letting go. All right, we've got the six of water. Okay, this is where that healer of the ages comes in. Okay, some of you, there's uh, some emotional detachment that needs to occur. Okay, it feels as though there's something that you're not letting go of, something that you're not moving on from. The Six of Water is similar to, um, it relates back to the Six of Cups energy. There's a huge amount of nostalgia here, a longing for uh, the better days, a longing for, you know, when things weren't as difficult, okay? Some of you may have suffered a loss, all right, specifically, of course, in relation to your job, um, you may have you may have been in a career or a company where you actually really loved what you did. OK, you loved what you did. You may have loved the people that you work with. All right. And it's very difficult to let that go. All right. Um, and you could you could be in the, your current workplace. 
all right, where you're resisting leaving for something better because again, you may, for one, you may be a little bit afraid, okay, but you're also, um, you're also uh, emotionally attached to it. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean always that you love um, your company, okay, but it's, it's almost like that it's almost like a little bit of, of fear of letting it go, um, a fear of disappointment perhaps, okay? Um, you know, but it's certainly an energy, you know, where the challenge is letting go. The challenge is looking to the future. The challenge is, you know, being in the present, okay? Because the Six of Water can be very much about living in the past, okay? So something needs to be released, something needs to let go of, okay? Now, sometimes this Six of Water energy can be an energy of, you know, um, past, you know, a past person coming back into your life. Okay. But I am not getting that energy from this. Okay. In this particular circumstance, what I'm getting is that you're having trouble letting something go. Okay. And again, we can get lost in an energy of nostalgia. Okay. Of a longing for the good old days of where things weren't as difficult or, you know, you can also be looking back on the past here and, uh, stuck in an old way of thinking. All right. Um, again, you could be, you know, just, um, you know, really emotionally attached to, you know, something, uh, a dream perhaps, right? Something you had your heart set on and it's not quite working out the way that you had thought that it would. Okay. Um, you may have already lost your job and it just may have really thrown you, um, for a loop there. It really may have rocked you off kilter, really rocked your world there, but that healer of the ages is here, okay, to help you emotionally detach, to help you heal, to help you let go, and to help free up your energy to move forward, to move on, okay? Onwards and upwards is really what spirit wants. Spirit never wants us to be stuck um, in a negative energy for too long, okay? And usually what happens is when we overcome obstacles, when we, you know, learn some lessons and deal with the challenges that we're faced with, that's when we usually get something better and something more positive come in as like a gift for doing a lot of hard work. All right. Um, so let's see what is beneath you. Okay. This is your underlying feelings. What's moving you forward. Oh, I love this. Okay. I love this. All right. This is beautiful energy. The seven of fire. Okay. Look at you. You are at your personal best right now. Okay. So, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you take on at the moment, there is, um, you know, there really is an underlying desire for success. All right. This, um, seven of fire energy, it's at being at your personal best. You are unique. Okay. There is no one quite like you. Okay. This, uh, this card here, this is a unicorn, right? Okay. Um, you know, of course there's some debates whether unicorns really exist or not, but they are, they, they do. It's you. Okay. And you rise above the competition. You have the ability to overcome any kind of challenges or obstacles that are put in your path. All right. Because you do have a burning fire. You have a burning passion, a burning desire. Okay. To be the best at what you do. All right. This is, um, you know, an energy of, uh, perseverance. All right. And it feels as though, you know, it feels as though even, even though you may need to, uh, you may be holding on to something that's no longer serving you. Okay. It, um, you know, or you need to detach or you need to take some different action to move your way forward. Okay. It really feels as though you've got a lot of drive and determination, um, beneath you that is really moving you forward. Okay. It's like, you know, your self-worth, all right. You know your self-worth with this, um, you know, and you're, uh, you're very independent and you're very unique. All right. And it feels, it feels like, you know, no matter what you pursue, okay, people would be very lucky to have you. Okay. Um, you certainly don't have the energy of conforming to anyone else. Sometimes that can present its own challenges and obstacles. Okay. But you have the power to persevere, go the distance, overcome whatever is put in your path on your path to success. Okay. So even if you've suffered some disappointment, some loss, even if a, a dream job isn't working out the way you had hoped, right? Cause you know, we are in challenging times. Okay. You still, no one is going to dull your fire. No one is going to dull your flame. Even if you feel a little bit, might feel a little bit down in the dumps now. Okay. Because beneath you is that underlying passion, that flame. All right. So, um, it's really beautiful energy. This is also one of self-confidence. 
all right, and being, again, at your personal best, okay? The time is now, all right? So let's have a look at your recent past. What is the recent past here for Pisces? Ooh. Three of Earth, Three of Earth, Three of Fire, and the Page of Fire. All right, so the Page of Fire is um, typically starting something new. All right, some of you, you, again, I'm really picking up a very strong energy that your dream job may have not worked out the way that you had planned or the way you had envisioned. All right. And of course, that might not be for everybody. Right. Because the page of fire, um, the pages typically indicate something new. OK. Or you may have started a new position that really isn't working out the way you thought. It's like, oh, God, what did I get myself into? OK. Um, but the page of fire does typically represent something new. It can also be inspiration. OK. That's come in. All right. It doesn't have to be a new job necessarily, but it can be a new spark of inspiration, a new boost of, um, uh, you know, of passion. Okay. Um, you know, a new vision of what you might want your future, uh, to be. All right. And with the three of earth here, this is all about teamwork, uh, teamwork and collaboration. Okay. So, um, with the three of fire, the three of fire is all about, um, you know, planting a firm foundation and making plans for the future and being ready to spring into action. All right. And we do have the three of fire has a ship. Okay, and that six of air also has a ship. All right, so you're making long term plans for the future. All right, and this may involve other people. Okay, or you may have you may have started a new passion project as part of a team. Now, for some of you, this may actually be a home based project with that being the earth, uh, the earth suit there, the three of pentacles. All right, um, you may even um, you may even have recently started um, uh, a new um, uh, taking some classes. Okay, learning something from other people. There's that thinking man energy. Okay, and it feels as though you may have had a spark of inspiration with the page of fire that you know what the the best way that I can level my level myself up um, and make myself more desirable is by taking a few classes or by you know seeking out some guidance from somebody. That three of earth can be again working with other people, teamwork and collaboration, right? But it can also be an energy of learning. Okay, it can also be an energy of teaching. All right, but I feel more that this is likely a spark of inspiration, okay? And you working together with somebody or bouncing ideas off of somebody, uh, brainstorming with somebody, okay, about your direction for the future, okay? Making solid plans for the future, um, um, getting a higher education, okay? Or getting some classes or something like that, um, you know, in order for you to make some long-term plans, all right? But it's, um, you know, in you're ready here, Okay, you're ready and you're right on the precipice to put your plans into action. Okay, and again, I am getting with that page of fire that some of you may have uh, started a new job recently. Okay, and it feels as though this really does allow you to explore your horizons and expand your energy. But with the six of water here, it just feels as though it just feels as though there's something missing. Um, like it, it doesn't necessarily feel for some of you that it's necessarily bad um, or like a, a really horrific environment or something, but it feels as though it feels as though it's just it's missing something. OK, now, whether it's um, a little bit of freedom to express yourself, express your ideas, um, maybe you're having to conform Okay, to uh, an environment that you're not used to because this this seven of fire can be about non-conformity, right? And with you being, you know, with this energy of the seven of fire being a very unique, um, you know, free spirited almost kind of energy. If you're in a workplace that, um, if you're in a workplace that oppresses you in any way. Um, it feels as though you won't, you wouldn't be happy with that. All right. And I mean, that's not, of course, that's not going to be for everybody, but it is, it is a pretty big energy that's here. Okay. So, you know, again, like, I mean, there are workplaces where you're not allowed to be yourself. It's like, no, you, it may be some stodgy podgy, 
um, kind of workplace. You might have a, you know, um, an old fuddy-duddy of a boss or something like that. And, uh, you know, it's like, oh, okay, um, well, I have a lot to bring to the table, but it feels as though there's a lot of rules, regulations, um, perhaps like um, a lot of inter-office politics that, you know, just kind of leave you feeling, um, uh, leave you feeling a little bit disappointed and really quite honestly, um, have you thinking that, you know what, maybe this won't be for my future. This is not what I expected it to be. So the very interesting energy um, that's coming out with that. So again, take it as that resonates for you. All right. But I also feel that others of you, you, um, you know, again, really this, this energy of making long-term plans for the future, you may be seeking some sort of guidance, some higher wisdom. All right. With that. Um, but it feels as though you're like rip roar and ready to go with that page of fire energy. And with this six of air, you know, you're ready to move forward. Okay. At least mentally, but it feels emotionally, there's something um, there's just a little bit of longing there for some of you. Okay. That's, um, that's just keeping your energy stuck. It doesn't necessarily feel for some of you that it's keeping you physically stuck. Okay. But it's just that little mental, or sorry, they, um, uh, you need to cut some emotional ties and some emotional cords with something before the energy can keep flowing. Okay. And I really feel that's why that healer of the ages is here. Um, you may want to do like some cord cutting meditations because that six of water that's crossing you. Okay. Um, you're not letting go of something, um, emotionally. Okay. And what that's doing is that's blocking your flow of energy. So if you're trying to find a job, okay. Um, that could be blocking and it sounds funny. I know, but, um, you know, but energy always wants to flow. Okay. It doesn't like blocks. All right. Um, it likes to be, you know, go with the flow. All right, so it, it feels as if you do have something that you're stuck on, okay, or you've got this longing for the past, right? Spirit always wants you to be focused and in the present, all right, making plans for the future, like this page of fire, three of earth and three of fire is a way more free-flowing energy than the six of water that's crossing you, right? Because this is keeping you stuck. This is getting you going. The six of air is getting you going. So, you know, it's like pretty well balanced here, but emotionally, Okay. Emotionally, there's a block there. All right. And that needs to be cleared. So call on the healer of the ages, do some cord cutting meditations, something, something needs to get you back focused on the present and making those inspired plans for the future. So let's see what is crowning you. This is your goals, thoughts, possibilities. What is crowning you? Ooh. All right. How am I taking those? I'm going to take them that way. Two there. Two there. One there. One there. Oh, all right. So what is crowning you? Oh, yes. I love this. Okay. We've got the Ten of Air and the Hierophant. Okay. So this is your, this is your thoughts. Okay. Your goals, your possibilities, what you're thinking of. Okay. Letting go, moving forward. All right. This Ten of Air, which is um, uh, similar to the Ten of Swords, but this is a way more positive connotation of that. Okay. You're letting go, letting go of anything that no longer serves you, blowing it into the wind. Okay. Letting spirit take care of it. Okay. Putting your troubles, putting your worries, putting your disappointments, putting your, um, you know, anything negative, you're blowing that into the universe there. Okay. And you're trusting that there's something better on the horizon, right? Letting go, letting go of the past, letting go of anything not working. Okay. It's a very freeing energy. All right. Tens are endings, of course, leading way to new beginnings. Okay. So you're looking to put an end to any trouble, any doubt, um, any disappointments, any negative ways of thinking, anything that doesn't serve you, you're blowing it to the wind. Okay. And it feels as though with the Hierophant here, you are very spiritually guided. All right. The Hierophant um, is an energy of higher learning. All right. So again, some of you are having a bit of a spiritual awakening that's going on here. All right. Um, you know, you're learning something, not just about yourself. Okay. But also, um, about your current situation. It feels as though you're getting some spiritual guidance coming in. Again, your, your, your crown chakra is very open and you're, um, receiving a lot of intuitive messages, right? You may not necessarily recognize them. You, some of you may be blocking them, 
a little bit, okay? Um, but they're here, okay? They're knocking at your door, all right? So again, some of you with this, you're leaving um, the past behind, that 10 of air. You could be leaving your old way, your old belief system and welcoming in a more spiritual uh, energy. Again, um, this Hierophant energy can be about spiritual practice. So some of you are looking for a career path that serves you more spiritually, okay, that is part of your soul path than the, what you've been following so far, okay? Um, it's a very positive energy. It's also an energy of higher commitment, Okay, so it feels as though whatever your career path, you really are willing to give it your all, okay, and you're willing to put a lot of time, energy, and attention into it. You're looking for a long-term commitment. You'll commit to your company as long as they commit to you right back, all right, and, you know, but it feels as though, um, you know, it's like an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. That's not quite the card for that, but that's the um, the energy that's coming in. All right. But, um, it's certainly one of higher level commitment, right? So you're looking for something that is solid, that is stable, that you can commit to. Okay. And again, it feels as though some of you are having a, a an epiphany moment. Okay. With that 10 of air and the higher fat, that new way of thinking that shift in your energy, it's really very positive. Okay. And, um, uh, the higher fat is Taurus energy. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may have Taurus in your chart. If you if you do, uh, you'll be feeling that energy um, more strongly. All right, but um, it really is a powerful energy that's coming in that is actually providing you guidance on your whole reading. It's the only major arcana that's out so far. Okay, so you really are being guided and protected here. Okay, and but you really need, need to listen to those messages, those in, that your intuition. Okay, that will guide you forward. Okay, that will show you what to do. So your short term outcome here, I'm loving this. Okay, so we have strength, coming out there. Okay. So Leo energy, um, it, this gives you, um, the patience, the, uh, the patience to persevere. Okay. Overcome any obstacles. This also reins you in just a little bit. If your energies are starting to get a little bit out of hand. Okay. Because this is about moderation as well. Okay. This is also, you know, about, um, you know, your inner strength as well, right? Your, your courage, to persevere, to keep on going, to overcome your obstacles, all right, to love yourself as well with that strength energy, right? Because, you know, um, compassion and kindness, okay, it all starts at home, all right? So, um, you know, but you have this strength card energy here. This is giving you the power to persevere, okay, to go the distance, right? To, um, you know, be in something for the long haul, right? Or again, overcome any challenges, hurdles, right? So, you know, with the six of water, right? Listen to your intuition, okay? Try and detach yourself. And once you do try, once you do detach yourself, right? You have greater inner power and strength, okay? And this actually gives you what you need to make better plans for the future with the two of fire. Okay. So it's like, um, you know, it gives it, the two of fire is one of planning. Okay. And we've, you know, kind of, um, you know, again, with this middle part here, um, we've kind of gone back a little bit of a step, but that's not probably surprising to you because, um, you did come from a place of being in the three of fire, right? Which is ready to take action. Okay. But again, something has derailed you a little bit. Okay. Whether it's a way of thinking something that's holding you back emotionally. Okay. Or, a, you know, your dream job just isn't working out the way that you wanted it to. Okay. Whatever that happens to be. All right. With that two of fire, you're kind of back in the energy of planning for the future, right? Which is not necessarily a bad thing because every obstacle we overcome, every challenge that we face um, really does uh, shift our energies and sometimes changes our priorities as well, okay? Um, you know, but this is really, um, you know, taking, um, um, making really good plans for the future, okay? It's um, also trusting in the unknown, Okay. It's knowing that, you know, I can put my plans, uh, I can figure out my plans for the future. I can figure out what my, what I want. Okay. What I want to do. Um, you know, but you also have trust here with this, that things will open up for you, that opportunities will come to fruition, that your plans, okay. Will, um, you know, will, um, you will be able to put your plans into action is what I'm trying to say. Okay. But again, that strength card, it's like, 
It's like that self-love, self-care kind of energy, all right? And it's also a healing energy, okay? So, you know, I really feel that that healer of the ages energy very, very strongly, okay? Um, Rich really gets you back into alignment there. So loving that strength card there. Okay, so let's have a look at, yeah, okay. So this card here, this is um, this is your current attitude, okay? Um, what uh, your advice that you would give to yourself. You're at the end of a cycle, okay? This world energy here. Um, you're looking at things from a different perspective, all right, which is very positive, all right? Um, but you've come as far as you can go with whatever situation that you're dealing with here right now, okay? And you're looking to shut the cycle down, all right? You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're taking a global view of your current situation, okay? Again, that two of fire energy. Energy, right you're making plans for the future and you're really looking to take a step okay through that door you're looking for the key you're looking for the answer that finds you um, that puts you on the path to the next phase of your career the next phase of your life okay so you're really looking to shut this cycle down right again you've you've had a lot of you've had as much success as you can glean from your current situation, from your previous career path, from the one that you're in right now, okay, even from your current position, you might not be thinking about leaving your company, but your position that you're in right now, there's something just not um, not doing it for you, right? Not not offering you any kind of expansion or growth. So um, I love this world energy because this is very much matching that six of air, okay, moving forward, moving on, okay, and again, whether that's a way of thinking, it can be your belief system, it can actually be your physical circumstances, or even your emotional ones as well, okay, but that world energy, you're looking at things from a different perspective, right, this six of water energy has you so too, too focused on um, the problem, okay, or on your disappointment, whereas this world energy, this allows you to step back, Okay, look at things in a different way, in a different light. Okay, and I feel this is those uh, energies, those spiritual energies, the Hierophant and strength that are really allowing you to do that. Okay, it's very positive energy. So uh, your environment, your external environment, the energy that is around you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, there is prosperity around you. The aces, um, you know, the aces are gifts from spirit, okay, after we've had some trials, tribulations, overcome obstacles, okay, we get a reward, all right, so there is abundance around you, this ace of earth um, is a new job opportunity, a new career prospect, okay, a new financial opportunity there, and this is abundance in its truest form, okay, um, love the aces for sure, all right, and aces again are always gifts from spirit, okay, and this is something that you can take you, um, you know, it's, um, uh, again, prosperity in its truest form. All right. And, you know, if you've been working on law of attraction, all right. And some of you may have been, okay. This is, um, this is something that holds a promise of great abundance for you. Okay. Prosperity in its truest form. So whether this is a new career path, um, a new job, okay. A new financial opportunity, cause some of you might be looking to make some investment, all right, but this is something that holds great promise of great rewards. It's a gift, all right, and it's something that you can. It's something that you can um, grow upon, okay, in your real physical world. Okay, it's not a spirit. It's not a spiritual energy. This is physical. Okay, this is something wonderful that is headed your way. So let's have a look. Let's just see if we can get a little bit more information about it. All right, because this is the energy that's around you. Okay, so there's new opportunities around you. Wow, we've got the Ace of Wands that's clarifying the Ace of Earth. So for some of you, this is more, um, more than one opportunity. But this Ace of Wands, this is quite often, this is quite often um, related to your third eye. Okay, um, and this is the opportunity to take action, to create the, um, uh, I always screw up how to say that, um, put, put your vision into action, create the reality that you have envisioned. Okay, so what have you been drawing? What have you been planning with this two of fire? What have you been dreaming of? This three of fire, even. What have you been? What have you been? What's been brewing underneath the surface? What is your end game? What is your end goal? Because this is your chance to put your dreams into reality. Okay, and if you look at this, 
um, this hand holding this uh, holding this wand, but there's tumultuous clouds there. So after a tumultuous time, okay, after a lot of disappointments, some struggles, some challenges, some obstacles, this is your gift, okay? And that's exactly what that is. So for some of you, there's more than one opportunity that is around you. For others, this is two opportunities, one, okay? The, t the chance to turn your dreams into reality, okay? Into something tangible that you can put in your bank account, okay? Very positive energy um, with that. So let's just um, see if we can get some more information. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Um, anything else about this Ace of Earth, please? Clarify this ace of earth. What else do we need to know? Thank you. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> we have the magician and justice. Okay, I'm loving this. Okay, so for some of you, you've been manifesting like crazy on the background. Okay, um, you've really been working hard, you've been very focused. Um, you tapped into all the resources of uh of the universe here okay and you are attracting your abundance your new opportunities your new beginnings okay you're attracting some money towards you there um with justice okay libra energy um this is something that restores those uh restores the balance into your life okay this is also the energy um it's card number 11 okay so new beginnings okay so for some of you you really are manifesting a new beginning and you may have more than one choice all right you may have more than one option to pursue all right um you know for others of you here you're getting your karma okay this is this is your just rewards okay all the good all the positive energy everything that you ever put out in the universe this is when it's coming back to you okay it's very positive and this restores your faith in yourself okay so where you may have been um wavering a little bit okay because again that six of water all right. Now, if you're if you're manifesting, OK, what you think about, you bring about. Absolutely. But you also need to attach positive emotion to what you're trying to manifest right back to that six of water that is crossing you. Your thoughts are in alignment. OK, your um, inspiration, your, um, you know, your third eye, all of that is in alignment. You're spiritually in alignment as well. It's your emotions. OK, you need to. Um, detach yourself from anything that is negative or that's no longer working stay focused stay in the present okay and attach positive emotion to what you are trying to attract okay that is one of the major keys to manifestation all right but there's great karma coming on in here for you something that really restores your balance your faith um, really restores those energies back to where they're supposed to be okay and very positive energy okay um i expect this to be wow look at all the ones um but i expect this to happen pretty quick so the ace of earth one ace of uh wands one magician one um justice 11 so one two three four five ones there's a lot of new here for you okay so you might want to look up the deeper meaning of one 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 okay very um very positive uh, energies there. So a lot of new beginnings on the horizon for a lot of you, new way of thinking, new opportunities, um, new financial opportunities, room for growth, very positive energy. Okay. Very, very positive for you. All right. So let's have a look at your hopes and your fears. What is the hopes and fears position here? Hopes and fears for Pisces, please. And we've got the queen of water, okay? Fear of disappointment, fear of loss, um, fear of, you know, being let down, okay? What if you don't find something that speaks to your heart? What if you don't find something you love? All right, but, you know, as a hope, though, you are hoping to have something positive, something that feeds your soul, some with this queen of water. Um, you're looking for something that, um, you know, is more positive than what you've maybe had in the past. You're looking for some peace. Okay. Um, some of you with this queen of water, um, your, it's the queen of cups energy. Okay. So you're looking for some healing, some personal growth, but ultimately you are looking for an opportunity that speaks to your heart, speaks to your soul. Perhaps some of you are, um, a creative person, especially with that magician there. 
okay? You may be looking to create something, all right? But this queen of water, you're really looking for an emotional connection with what you do for a living, okay? And you're looking for something positive and something that you can really take with you to the future, Okay, so I love that Queen of Water energy. Okay, so, you know, embrace the healing that's there. Embrace the positivity. Okay, detach yourself from anything that causes you, um, you know, grief or disappointment. Okay, you may have already left. All right, but, um, you know, it's really important to attach that positive emotion um, to that magician energy. Okay, so um, some of you are really looking forward to that. Um, that healing okay and positive positive energy positive vibes all right so let's have a look at your overall outcome what is the overall outcome please for Pisces overall outcome oh, all right and we've got the page of water okay so something brand new a surprise and something that's going to change your life Okay, and something that's going to uplift your spirit. Okay, so I'm loving that energy. All right, so the page of water. Let me put these back where they're supposed to be. All right, so the page of water. This is opening yourself up to your new opportunities. This is where your heart gets healed. Okay, you're, um, you know, you're really expanding your opportunities, expanding your heart space. Um, for some of you, there's a surprise because the page, the page of water, which is the page of cups, is quite often something of a surprise. And with the page of air, okay, um, the page of air is the page of swords. All right, and it feels as though, it feels as though you're gonna get a message with an opportunity that you may not be expecting. Okay, again, these aces, right? Remember all these aces. Okay, and this is where you um, you get that, um, you know, you really get the call. Okay, and something that it feels as though for something that will allow you to change your life, right? Transformation relates back to the death cards. Okay, so Scorpio energy. Um, and but this is something that really allows you to change your life for the better. All right, allows you to burn away anything that no longer serves you and really clear the path for a complete rebirth, a renewal of yourself. Okay. So, um, it's a life changing event. Okay. And again, something that allows you to leave anything negative behind and embrace the new. All right. So for some of you, this is a spiritual transformation. And for yourself, you're starting on this new spiritual journey, spiritual path, um, spiritual, um, career, perhaps. Okay. For others, I feel as though there's some news coming in here for you, um, of an opportunity that you, that really, uh, that offers you a deep emotional connection, that queen of water energy, you're getting what you hope for. All right. You're not getting what you're afraid of. You're getting what you hope for. Okay. So you're looking for something that you can be emotionally connected to as far as your career path goes, something that you love to do. Okay. And something that will, um, you know, move you towards the future. Okay. I'm loving that energy for you. I really, really am. Okay. There's a life changing event. That page of water, again, it can come as a surprise as can the page of air. Now the page of air, which is the page of swords, um, you know, can quite often, it's quite often known as the lurker of the tarot. Okay. Um, so it feels as though in some of your cases that someone may have been keeping tabs on you. They may have been keeping an eye on you, perhaps through social media. Um, you know, it could be through business associates somewhere along the way. It could be through family, through friends, um, whatever that happens to be, but it feels as though they may have, um, had their eye on you for a while. And, you know, the thing is, is this, you know, because that page of water can sometimes be a surprise, I'm almost getting, I'm getting that energy where you may be headhunted for something. Okay. Like from like an employment agency or a company may reach out, uh, something along those lines. Um, and it might actually take you off guard. Um, you know, and it just feels like it's some sort of surprise and it's a very positive, very happy surprise, by the way, nothing to be afraid of. Okay. But it really allows you to change your life for the better. It's like a life changing event that comes in and, you know, with transformation, right? I mean, with that death card energy, it's typically like a slow burn, like a slow transformation, a slow transition. So, um, you know, but it's something that has usually been happening for quite some time. And we do see quite a few changes that are going on in your reading, right? You're ready for it. You're ready for some um, positive change. Okay. So it, it doesn't feel like it's that much of a surprise, but it feels as though more the opportunity or the communication that comes in, or maybe even the source 
of where this comes from is a little bit of a shock to you because it could come from your current company. It could come from a new one, right? Whatever that happens to be for you. Um, it could also be if you're looking for a job, you've been putting out your resume for a long time and you may end up tweaking something with that thinking man energy and you may all of a sudden um, just get something that just comes back quick for you and you're like, whoa, that was fast. Okay. It could be just be something like that. All right. But something that takes you a little bit off guard, but for the better. All right. And I'm not really surprised. We've got good karma. We've got the magician and we've got two aces coming for you. I mean, it's all about the ones, right? All about the ones, all about the new, whatever that new means for you. Oh, look at that rhymes. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there for you, right? Cause um, you know, I'm loving that energy. Okay. So uh, let's have a look and I'm going to close out your reading with a wisdom of the Oracle regeneration. Okay. Um, regeneration, transformation, right? Something new is, uh, is coming for you, right? There's change. Okay. Change for the positive that's here, right? Anything negative is going to be good is going to go. Okay. Changing your way of thinking, your physical circumstances, your spiritual beliefs, whatever that happens to be for you. Okay. Something new on the horizon. Okay. That allows this rebirth, right? This very similar energy with that. So I'm going to read that entire message for you from the book. All right. Now this is also card number 46. Oh, hold on. Sign symbol synchronicities. Card 46. Card 46. That is no accident. This thinking man plays a role in your life somehow, okay? Um, this is somebody that can give you some sort of epiphany, some sort of guidance. It may even be someone that you speak to out of the blue that doesn't even know that they're giving you some, some sort of wisdom. But 46 breaks down into a 10. A 10, okay? So something that is life-changing, something that changes your life for the better and opens you up to new opportunities, okay? That is no accident, all right? Definitely no accident there, all right? Your cards your cards are pretty much faded to come out. Um, no matter, it doesn't matter how I shuffle, doesn't matter, you know, what day I do your reading, the reading is meant to come out the way it's meant to come out. And this is two completely different decks, and, you know, there's just no coincidences. So I'm going to read you that whole regeneration message. All right. And it is. I'm going to read the prosperity message out of it for you. Here we go. So regeneration, rebirth, second chances, and new opportunities. What happens when it appears you failed at something? Do you see the beauty in the lesson? The understanding that arises from difficulties is like a seed that lies dormant for some time. Then, once it germinates in your subconscious, it pushes through to your awareness. It is becoming apparent that there is a new you, a new start, a more powerful version and form for, of what you began to plant in the garden of your imagination has surfaced. You are ripe for success. New opportunities, much better than those that came before, appear like gifts from the gods. Those are those aces. Now is one of those times when out of seeming loss and failure comes remarkable abundance. Do not dwell on the past because you are really experiencing a rebirth. All right. Six of water, dwelling on the past, transformation, rebirth. Okay. Very, very um, powerful reminders there for you guys. Okay. So great things on the horizon for you. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I know it was a lot of messages that came out, but hopefully there was something here that resonated for you. If so, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how things are working out for you. Um, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous month ahead. All right. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.